sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. All right, let's bring back in ABC 10 News weather anchor Moses Small. So Tropical Storm Hillary has come and gone, but you're still tracking what's coming next. Yeah, absolutely. So Tropical Storm Hillary downgraded once again. Now it's post-tropical cyclone Hillary, and it's hundreds of miles away from us. But we can see it's not quite done bringing some stormy weather. We can see that it is creating showers across a few states like Idaho. We're seeing it in some parts of Oregon and Washington. We're even seeing a couple flood warnings in those states. But here at home, we are pretty much done dealing with all of that rain. If you take a look at some of the rain totals, though, they were pretty impressive for such a short time period. San Diego picked up nearly two inches of rain. If you look a, bit, a little bit further north to Carlsbad, looking at two and a half inches, that is roughly 10 times what that city received during Tropical Storm K. And looking at Mount Laguna, they saw some of the heaviest showers of all, in addition to mudslides in the area after receiving a staggering seven inches of rainfall. And we also saw some peak wind gusts as fast as 84 miles per hour. That was Big Black Mountain, but totals in most places were far, far less. And for many San Diegans thought that the storm didn't quite meet the strength they expected, but still Palmar Mountain picked up peak wind gusts as fast as 79 miles per hour. Here in San Diego, Petco Park saw wind gusts as fast as 40 miles per hour. But taking a look at it right now, we're still waiting for our temperatures to rebound after that cool weather from the storm. San Diego sits 74 degrees, looking at most of the coastline, sitting anywhere between 70 and 75 degrees. Some of those inland neighborhoods are still much cooler than we're used to over the past few weeks. Escondido, 72. Poway, 73. And Ramona sits at just 71 degrees right now. Even some parts of the desert are just into the 80s. Now, over the next few hours, we're going to keep this overcast weather along the coastline as those temperatures gradually dip down into those mid 60s and those in the neighborhoods are going to see a similar cool down falling into the lower 60s and they're also going to see just a little bit of cloud coverage peek through for the evening. Now taking a peek at the rain future cast as well, we're not expecting any more activity. We can see that there may have been a couple raindrops passing through mostly in Riverside County and then easily once we get into the evening then into into tomorrow, we are looking at much clearer skies. So tomorrow is a big turning point. That's where our temperatures start to rise up again. We see lots more sun. San Diego reaches up to 72. Our inland neighborhoods get slightly warmer, reaching up to 81 degrees. Mountains a high of 76. Desert reaching 95. And the future cast shows that we have a ridge of high pressure approaching us. And is it good to think of that as a big dome of warm air, trapping a little bit more heat close to the ground? And that makes the weekend the light at the end of the tunnel. We are looking at nice, dry, sunny weather, getting a little bit warmer. San Diego sees a high of 72 for the next few days. Then for Saturday, 74. Sunday 75. There's a very moderate temperature bump along the coast. But if you take a look at those inland neighborhoods, they see a high of 81 for tomorrow. Finally, reaching up a little bit warmer to 85 Saturday, 87 Sunday into the mountains. We're going to see a little bit of monsoonal moisture, bringing a slight chance of showers back on Thursday, drying out right after that. And there's similar story for the desert. The desert's going to get his heat back. High of 95 tomorrow until we see next Monday at 109 degrees. So we have left the tropical storm behind. And in some parts of the county, while well, hey, we're once again bracing for the heat. All right.